Hello, in this video I will summarize the electricity unit from grade 9 physics curriculum. During this year, you studied two types of voltages, the DC and the AC voltage. The DC, which is the direct voltage, has a constant value and a constant sign, whereas the alternating voltage alternates between positive and negative, hence it has a variable value and sign. We have many types of alternating voltages, but the one that has main interest for us is the sinusoidal alternating voltage which has this shape. If you see this sign on an electric appliance, it means that this appliance must be fed by a DC voltage. And if you see this sign on an electric appliance, it means that it should be fed by an AC voltage. This is how the screen of the oscilloscope shows us an AC voltage. The AC voltage is characterized by four characteristics. U maximum, U effective, the period T, and the frequency F. U maximum is the maximum value of the voltage, whereas U effective, if you want to replace this AC voltage by another DC voltage that will do the same effect, then you will bring a DC voltage that has U effective. The period T is the time it takes to cover one cycle, and the frequency F is the number of cycles per one second. So how do we get these values? From the graph, we can get two quantities, x and y, where x is the number of divisions on the x-axis corresponding to one cycle. So from here to here. This is one cycle, plus and minus. This is the number of divisions, x. So y is the number of divisions from the equilibrium position to the maximum point. In this graph, for example, x is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and y is 2 divisions. In addition to x and y, you're most probably given Sv and Sh. Sv is the vertical sensitivity. The vertical sensitivity means on the vertical axis, each division is sensitive to how many volts. Sh is the horizontal sensitivity. It's also called the time base, or Vb. It means that each division on the x-axis is sensitive to how many milliseconds or seconds. From Sv and y, we can get u maximum. U maximum equal SV times Y. From U maximum, we can get U effective. From X and SH, we can get the period T. And from the period T, we can get the frequency F. Now, pay attention that when you want to find the frequency equal 1 over t, t should be in seconds. So here, for example, you will obtain t in milliseconds because sh is in milliseconds. So you have to convert it to seconds before you find the frequency. And how do you do that? From milliseconds to second, you divide by 10 power 3. Now let's check the units of these quantities. U maximum and U effective are usually expressed in volts. The period T in seconds or milliseconds, the frequency is always in hertz. The X and Y in divisions or centimeters. SH is in milliseconds per division, second per division, millisecond per centimeter or second per centimeter. And SV is in volts per division or volt per centimeter. The maximum number of divisions on the Y axis is four divisions. So one, two, three, four. So y maximum equal four divisions. Now, of course, this is one division, but what about this one here, the small subdivision? Since we have five of them, then each subdivision is 0 0.2 divisions. What happens if we turn sweeping off? The sweeping is the motion of the time axis. So if we turn it off, all these values will come here. So you will obtain something like this. You will obtain a segment of length 2y from y maximum to y minimum. Sometimes you are given an exercise in different order. So you don't get a v maximum, then v effective, and period, then the frequency. You get them in a reverse order. So sometimes you are given f. So how do we get the period? Then t equals 1 over f. After you get the period, you might be asked about x or about sh. t equals sh times x. 
also you might be given u effective from the beginning so how do you get u maximum u maximum equal u effective times radical 2 and after you get u maximum you can use this formula and you can get s b or y as required as we said this is the way a screen of the oscilloscope shows us an AC voltage. But what happens if we use the multimeter to measure an AC voltage? The multimeter doesn't give you U maximum. It gives you U effective. So remember, if you use a multimeter to measure an AC voltage, it gives you U effective. Now let's take a look about the voltage of the mains. The electricity reaches you through the wires of the outlet. The outlet has two openings that look alike, which are the live and the neutral. And if you have a third one, it doesn't look like them, it is called the ground. The live is also called the phase or the hot line, and it carries the AC from the EDL, from the electric company. The neutral is also, is also called the cold line or the return, and it only completes the circuit. And how do we identify them? We use the screwdriver tester. We insert it in one of them and we complete the circuit by putting our thumb like this. If the lamp here glows, and then it is the light. If it doesn't glow, then it is the neutral. So here we want to check which one is the live and which one is the neutral. So we use the tester. We insert it here and we close it with our thumb. It doesn't glow. So this one is the neutral. So the other one must be the live and it closed. The ground, we can know it because it has different shape than the other two and it, roll, it carries the excess charges to ground. So it is used for safety. You must study the characteristics of the voltage of the mains, although sometimes they are given for you. The voltage of the mains are characterized by U effective is about 220 volts. So U maximum is 220 times radical 2, it's about 311 volts. The frequency of the voltage of the mains is 50 Hz, so the period is 1 over F, 0.02 seconds. We have two dangers of electricity, fire and electrocution. To prevent ourselves from the dangers of electricity, we use protection methods. For the fire, we use fuses and circuit breaker. The fuse is used to protect an electric appliance. It melts when the current entering the electric appliance exceeds a given value that is suitable for this device. The circuit breaker, on the other hand, protects the whole house and all the appliances. It is released when the main current exceeds a given value. To protect ourselves from electrocution, we can use the ground wire. It carries all the excess charges to the ground. The differential circuit breaker detects any leakage of current because it's sensitive to the variation of current between the live and the neutral.